So you don't have the market cornered on people them trying to cancel. Uh, arguably one of the hottest comics in America, and certainly a comics comic, the most respected, I would say, Dave Chappelle. Everywhere you go, he can't go two or three weeks without somebody trying to uh, upset him. Or uh, when his appearance comes, them showing that they're upset that he's there. Well, he's I mean, very he, lucky. That? He's very lucky because the people who, um, you know, that he uh, does his uh, jokes for the people that he performs for always back him. So that's the difference between him and me and other comics is that he always has the backing of the people on Netflix and they always stand up for him and come to the fore for him. And that makes him different from all the rest of us who don't get that. So um, we, I didn't get that and other comics don't get that. So he, he's uh, very privileged in that. That he does get that. Uh, did you find Dave? Did you find, Dave is uh, Dave uh, is also kind of protected in the fact that he's able to say really offensive. And I, I'm a Jew, so I, I found his performance on Saturday Night Live to be very anti-Semitic, and he was very protected and being bigoted too by NBC, and that upset me because you know. Mine was a joke, and his was uh, serious bigotry. And mine was a mistake because I say in my act that I, I racially misgendered someone I assumed to be a white woman. But uh, Dave was, like, purposely offending, you know, who I am and got away with it and was protected for doing it, which – to me, that shows what a double standard everything in this country is about.